In this video, we are going to be upgrading our Windows 7 device to a Windows 10 device. So if you are still using a Windows 7 device, I will definitely advise you to upgrade your Windows 7 device to a Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. But before you do the, the update or upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, you definitely want to make sure that your device has been updated with the latest security update and some definition update. So right now I've updated this device and I want to, actually you can see it's a window installed new update. You can see we just received a notification and this actually towards the end of 2022, beginning 2023. So here I've already mounted my Windows 10 to my DVD drive on this Windows 7 device. And you can see we can, we have the option to just double click the Windows 10 setup. Click yes. So here we go, you can see it's preparing for Windows and now we can start the installation of Windows 10. So let me just click next on that. It's a getting updates ready. So what, I'm, what I'll be doing is the following. I'm going to be pausing this video if for example that some process of the video will take so long so that this video will not be that too long so i'll pause the video if i think it is not necess necessary for you to see all the process and come back again when we are at the next step of the process of upgrading our device from windows 7 to a windows 10 operating system so during the upgrade process we are being requested to enter our product key for windows 10 device because this windows 7 is not activated so i'll need to enter this product key and here you can check this key if this key is actually valid or not and you say your product key works continue when you are ready so just this continue and then let's accept so it's going to choose what to keep so making sure you're, you are ready to install so let's just wait again and then we'll continue with the installation process so right now you can see it says ready to install we can install a windows 10 enterprise and we can keep personal files and apps so we can decide to choose what to keep keep personal files and apps keep personal files only or nothing but we want to actually keep our personal files and app so we, we are going to click next and it says making sure you are ready to install now again the device is checking for update and the installation process will continue so now let's just click install to start the installation process and you can see it says installing windows 10 your pc will restart several times this might take a while and you can see it's about five six percent and it's going to go to about hundred percent so what is going to happen is the following your device will now um, the wheel windows 7 will now be upgrading to windows 10 and this is going to take some time because this is going to take uh, your device may restart several times during the installation process i'll be working as an it administrator for the past 10 years i've updated windows upgraded windows 7 personally in my company for different companies actually um personally the, um, my personal device was also updated upgraded from windows 7 to windows 10 and right now i'm using a new device which of course comes with windows 11. so let's just wait for this device to get updated and at the same time please if you are still watching this video do me one great favor don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video leave a comment help me grow my youtube channel if you think this video has been of any help to you you can as well share this video if you think this video can be of great help to someone i also have some so i also have several videos which of course one of those videos can be of help to you you may browse through my videos and see maybe you can learn from microsoft 365 azure active directory windows servers windows 11 windows 10 microsoft intune and many more and please don't forget to send me a personal email if you think you have any question regarding your, your windows operating system if you are using windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 or windows 11 you can always send me a personal email and i will reply to you as quick as possible just like i said before i have been working in the it field for the past 10 years so i have a little bit of i have a little experience based on it and windows operating system technology so if you think you have any question any problem with your device send me an email and i may be 
able to help you and if i can't help you i have colleagues also who has been who have been working in the it field for the past 20 years and believe you me they will definitely have an answer to your question so let's just keep on let's just wait and for this device to get updated to windows 10. here we go here we go you can see our device start says working on update and this is going to take some time for the device to be updated from 0% to about 100% and it says do not turn off your PC because our device just get restarted before it start working on update to update this device to a Windows 10 operating system and if your device update your Windows 10 operating system what you need to do is to log on with your device with the same credentials you created on Windows 7 device you still use the same logon name and the same password you use during the Windows 7 device. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. I hope and I believe that this video has helped you. And please, if if this video has helped you, don't leave this video without liking this video or leaving a comment behind and also subscribing to my YouTube channel. And this is 2023. And if you think you can still, you are still using Windows 7 in 2023, please upgrade your device to Windows 10. I can as well help you to upgrade your device if you are still watching right now. Please send me a personal email and I can help you connect your device and assist you with upgrading your device without any problem thank you very much for your time and goodbye